Hi guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet. Welcome back to the channel. I had to be quick today because I slept late, couldn't sleep, and I'm about run out of time. So I'm going to make this quick. Um, I'm getting ready to leave for the funeral. Um, I'm thinking of the kids mostly. There's like eight people in the household that I'm thinking of. Um, the lady who's running the show, Randy's ex-wife, they share two kids together and... Um, she still has a lot of kids in the house, and her husband, and their son, that the son that they have together, um, and there's a couple of other people. So, um, I was trying to make hat and scarf sets, but I didn't finish all of them. I wanted to make like eight, since there's eight people in the house. I got five sets done, and two extra hats, and I got a lot of other stuff I'm gifting. So, I wanted to show you guys these because I'm not taking pictures, I don't have time now, but I wanted to get them on reference, also on camera. This is Big Twist Vivid. I bought it from Joann's. It is a three weight yarn, 100% acrylic, easily washable and dryable. That's what the pattern looks like. I do have some skeins left, I can show you what they look like. Big Twist Vivid. The color weight is called Light Blue Purple. And it's 308 yards, 3.5 ounce skeins, 282 meters, 100 grams. So that's one set. I'm pretty much folding these up. And then I put them inside of the beanie cap. And I don't know what kind of hats they like. I'm sure the boys would love large slouchy beanies. And I can still make more and mail them off later. But these are all just 100 rows on the hats. And the scarves are 220 rows. Um, this one is only 200 rows. I was practicing scarf links and it wasn't long enough, so that's why I added fringe with the leftover yarn. This is Premier Aurora. This is like hot, like two years ago. And I think one of my yarny friends is telling me that, um, where did I buy Aurora from? I ordered it on, excuse me, I ordered it online. I don't remember what website. It was two years ago. Um... But if Premier has any left, the, the, it would be on clearance. But this colorway is called Anemone. Anemone. And here's the hat. By the way, these are all reversible. So whatever colorway you like, you can just flip it the other way. And obviously I'm presenting the best side out. So this will be folded in half. I'm going to take screenshots with this video so I can get some still photos later if I need them. I think it'd be a super great idea to photograph everything you make and catalog it in um, in your own gallery, in your own makes gallery. So I'm going to do that at some point. Um, that's why I'm glad one of my yarny friends sent me some clear page protectors. The ones with the holes on the side so you can put them in a three ring binder and you can slip pages or notes into them. Um, I can take pictures. Once I get a computer and, and printer, I can take pictures. and um, and I can catalog them in my gallery book. This is from Ice Yarns. This yarn is called... Let me go get it real quick. They come in a pack of four. It's from Ice Yarns. That's what it looks like in the ball band. It is Baby Design. The lot number was 22037. They don't have any left. I don't think they do. Um, this one, it's 100% baby acrylic, 100 gram skeins, 360 meters, two weight yarn, two weight yarns, and three weight yarns I have discovered work best for the knitting loom. So that's the pattern. It's kind of like a jack wired, jackered. And again, the hat is reversible. So either side you like, you can wear it. And let's fold the scarf up again. And take the hat on the scarf and Bob's your uncle. Not really. <laughs> so there's three sets. This is also from Ice Yarns. This is Magic Light. I think it was called Cell Magic Light. I think they might still have this colorway on there. I think. Pretty sure they have. They made like so many lots of this. And a lot, in case you don't know, is a bag. It's a pack of yarn from Ice Yarns because you have to buy them in packs. They only sell them that way. You can't buy individual skeins. 
but this is extremely, extremely super soft. I don't have any... Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I can show you what this yarn looks like. This is what it looks like in the skein. Beautiful colors. Magic light, 100% acrylic. So just go to the search engine bar if you're interested on iceyarns.com, the little search bar at the top. Just type in magic light and it will show you all the colors that they have. And it's a three weight yarn, 100 grams, 360 meters. And it works great on the knitting loom. And I love the tie dye effect. So, so pretty. This, these colors are gorgeous. And it's super soft and plushy. And just oh, look at that plush. I love it. So there's another one gifted. And then I made one more. So I got five all together. This is one's for a boy. This is um, also from Ice Yarns. This comes in a pack of eight. And they come in donuts. 100 meters. No, not 100 meters. This is a four weight. I would say maybe about 60 meters. It's a 50 gram donut. They come in a pack of eight. It's called Cell Cell Striping. They don't have any more of this yarn. But I love the black camo design that it makes. This is great for the guys. If you ever see a variegated black and gray yarn, get it. Because it is super hard to find things and make things for guys. You, work, you can make up anything in this color and they'll love it. And this is a four weight yarn. It was a little a little difficult to work with on the Nitty Loom. Because it's a four weight yarn that's a little bit more on the chunkier side. And this is 220, maybe 230 yards. I made it a little longer because it's for a guy. I made this for uh, Melissa's husband, Justin, um, because he was kind. He got kind of close to Randy over the years. He said they became kind of like brothers. They were really civil and respectful of the fact that Justin became Melissa's um, second husband. Um, and he's a really sweet guy, and he takes very, very good care of the household and of Melissa. <laughs> So there's five hat sets. These are all reversible and um, very, very squishy. And they're all 100% acrylic, so which makes them easily washable and dryable. This is, I would say, 90, maybe 85% acrylic because I used three different strands of yarn. I used, I used the donut um, cakes from Ice Yarns, the Ecru, the Ecru. Yarn, one of my yarny friends loves it. It's a chunky three weight. I used a bulky five ombre brown. That's why some of the browns look darker in certain areas because it's an ombre. Then the third yarn I used is what I used to trim the bottom and the top of the basket with. It's like a red heart super saver yarn and like a sandy beach color. And the extra yarn I had left over, I made the tassel, a cute little tassel. It kind of looks like a dress a little bit. It was a lot longer, and it was flowing, and it was beautiful. You know how most tassels are kind of cut flat across the bottom? I think it looks cute with a little bit of extra volume. And because it's so chunky and thick, it's a lot of yarn in there. So I am putting all of these hat and scarf sets in this basket. Oh, and there's two extra hats. Two extra hats. This yarn is Craft Smart Value from Michaels. It's called the colorway is Rainbow. This is Craft Smart Value Jacquard. And that's the pattern you get. Gorgeous, right? Gorgeous. I love how this turned out. Now this is a chunky four weight yarn. Very, very smooth to work with on your hook when you're crocheting with it. This is just a three weight, 100% acrylic. I bought this from Love Crafts. The yarn is called Price Wise. Um, this is the Jacquard, Jacquard um, Craft Smart Value. It's reversible as well. I just made a long tube, 100 rows, and I closed both ends off, folded it in half, and stitched the center together. That's all I did. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm putting all of these in this basket. And then I also have um, some candy, not really candy, but like snacks and stuff for the kids. I think there's like four or five kids in the house. One of them is grown, but there's a lot of kids in the house. So I'm putting a whole bunch of these in. Um, I bought these from this grocery store. And one of my lovely friends gave me a whole big giant box 
filled with with these snacks nut and butter cookies graham cookies um all graham you know teddy grams all the stuff so i'm putting just a handful in a, in a big bag of these and i bought some lint chocolates the lindor um i bought two different kinds of chocolate and i mixed them together so um and then I have a little jar. This is my leftovers, and I put. Um, I, I'm giving them. I got strawberries and cream, which is a new Lindor chocolate, and then I got like plain regular milk chocolate because that's my favorite. So I'm giving them a lot of both of them, and I'm keeping the leftovers of that. And then I got a bottle of soap for Melissa, um, and and a pack of loofahs for the family, um, so her and two of the other girls can use the loofahs. And the body soap I got is from Walmart. It's Aches and Pains Tea Tree. Let me just grab it and show you real quick. <clears throat> this is one of my favorite bath soaps to use. I have it in my shower. I, I try to always have a bottle of this in my shower. But I use this for when I'm feeling sick, when I'm feeling achy, when I'm feeling a lot of pain. Um... It's a foaming bath oil and body wash. It's eucalyptus, spearmint, and menthol. It's aches and pains muscle relief. If you can, you probably find this online too, but this is great for when I have a cold. It's got that menthol smell and it'll help clear up my nasal passages. Um, it actually kind of tingles just a smidge and it, it makes my muscles and stuff and my skin feel better. And let's see, it says eucalyptus to revitalize and restore spearmint to refresh and renew menthol to soothe and comfort so this is for all the girls in the household the guys can use it too if they want to but this is for melissa and it's her preference on who she wants to share this with um since i got a pack of three loofahs and and so this that'll last them for a little bit and that's pretty much pretty much it so that's quite a bit a lot of yarn and a lot of snacks for the kids and some some feel good relieving bath wash so that's all i have for now i just wanted to get this yarn on reference so i can take screenshot photos later if i want to and show you guys because everything everything i make everything i make i'm going to show you guys and it will be um, referenced here i'm trying to double check and make sure there's nothing else i need to show you guys because i have to finish getting ready so um i'm gonna go now and I'm going to get all these hats in the basket and, and get my stuff together and, and go. Um, I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Um, prayers for the family. And um, Winter also, I, I wanted to give you guys an update for baby Winter. She's doing good. I think two days ago, her mama walked into the hospital and, and discovered that her, her left chest tube was taken out. <laughs> Such good news. Winter is doing so much better. The prayers are working. Please keep them coming for winter and the family. I'm okay. Um, yeah, I've known the guy for nearly 15 years, so it's going to suck. And I'm bringing a big tissue box with me. Um, but uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um, he's being the angel we need him to be. So I'm going to go now. And I hope you guys have a lovely one. And stay warm. It's below freezing where I am. It feels like six degrees outside, according to Google, um, but the temperature is saying it is 24 or 26 degrees, something like that. So it's, so it's frosty outside, um, but it's clear. The roads are clear and everything. So wherever you're at, stay safe and warm. If you're sick, please rest up and take care. Push those fluids, and I'm praying for you, and y'all have a great one. Thank you so much. I will see y'all later.